Welcome back for another ZTP, Zen Trap Perspective. We got a great video review for you today. Yogi LG, why don't you give us a mission? Uh, the mission here at the Zen Trap Podcast is to inspire and empower people to continuously seek internal peace to maximize their personal potential. We got a video review today. Uh, this is something called The Therapist. It's on YouTube. It's a series. Um, it's with di different celebrities, and they're basically having a therapy session with Dr. Siri Satnam Singh. Hopefully I said that right. You know, but uh, he, he knows uh, his name difficult. So, <laughs> um, But ultimately, he does this interview with Chief Keef, and we thought it would be great kind of play on Zen Trap. Definitely a trap rapper um, style. And then just a zen of having a therapy session, a whole setup he's in is pretty cool. Um, definitely vibes and like trying to, you know, see what therapy is about. So that's the topic of the month. We wanted to go up on that lane. And it's pretty cool to me to even see a therapy session live. So, yeah. tell, you know, tell the people how you would explain this video. Like, what, do you, what would you say it was all about? It's a therapy session live, just like she said. Great setup. Um, celebrities mostly i think i just saw it come across my page after it got sent to me i saw they did one with joe budden i'm sure there's plenty of other yeah. rappers celebrities like you said it's a live therapy session so you kind of get to see the types of questions they kind of ask and how they're trying to pull information from you and get you to share it was great especially for it to be a short clip i would say it's less than 30 so it's kind of short 22 minutes packed full of a, a great session so i'm i'm sure they cut that down but great information in 22 minutes i like that it gives a a show type of feel to it it almost feels like not criminal minds or first 48 not those type of things but it has like pictures as he, chief keep kind of talks about His some of the people yeah. or things in your life so you're not just kind of listening to a therapy session you also get a little bit of b cut so i like that too Little B roll, little I like that. Yeah, that. for sure. Uh, same. I thought it was just a pretty cool setup, and these people be willing to be vulnerable enough to put this information on the internet. I have a therapy session out, um, but it's your truth. So I thought it was cool. It is a bunch of celebrities on there. Waka Flocka got one. Um, T Grizzly got one. It's some cool people that have uh, joints on there. So definitely go check out the therapist uh, on YouTube for sure. I feel like it's so difficult to one share that you being the person doing the therapy and then on the therapist you probably only doing one session with this person so yeah it's hard to, to try and optimize that one session optimize yeah like you're saying one session and really draw out without really having a good rapport with that person i'm yeah. sure is extremely difficult and then you already dealing with somebody who may or may not have ever had therapy exactly already closed off and you gotta try and pull from them without forcing Crazy difficult, couldn't imagine. And then on the other person's side of being vulnerable to share, knowing the world gonna see it, and after you've been growing up feeling like sharing is weakness, and if the first thing happened when it come out, and I don't, I don't even wanna say like your op or somebody you dislike use it against you, you are gonna be like, why did I do this? Why yeah. did I do this? No, nah, this is super uh, vulnerable and courageous, I would even call it to uh to do this online but i thought it was cool so tell me something like did you f find anything unique you know outside of the fact that this is like a, probably a one-time session um uh, but did something stand out to you just the, off the standout trip? part in the video was the spiritual aspects he brought in the therapy doing uh angel numbers i've only heard of angel numbers maybe three times in life in general yeah. so i don't know a lot about angel numbers but he did a process where he had chief key pull out uh, angel number and explain to them kind of what that meant i would almost call it similar to tarot cards or yeah. stuff like that so it was, it was cool I, i've never seen that before so it was nice to see that aspect brought into the therapy session and i did like we talked about last time kind of what we would want from a therapist mm -hmm. i somewhat like the challenge of him knowing that we only doing one session i know it's kind of a, a little bit even if it's not a lot of it i need to get something out of you for this is why we're here yeah. 
type of thing. Not saying I need good content, but this is literally why we're here. So I kind of have to push you a little bit. So I like seeing that push from a therapist a little bit to challenge you to, to think more instead of just sink and shut down or yeah. I don't know. And what I kind of wanted to kind of, even why I wanted to even watch the video is kind of see like, what are things that I would want that was similar in this dude that I would want for my therapist? Um, I thought something that I saw and I hear often is that the therapist asks like, is this your first time? I don't know if that gives them, I wonder what kind of information that gives them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is my first I think time. That's a normal question in any. I mean, I guess, but like, how is it going to help? I know how experienced you are. If you don't know anything about therapy, I don't have to treat you the same about the process of oh, therapy yeah. versus okay, if you've been to 25 sessions, you kind of know how this goes. You're That's having true. a great idea of the, the payment process, what, what what I'm here to do, what you're here to do. Yeah, that's true. Versus if you're just in the middle, okay, you kind of know about therapy, yeah. so I don't have to over. Yeah, I think true. it's just a gauge, just like in sports. Have you ever played basketball before? <laughs> You've never touched the ball? You played for high school or you played in middle school? You played rec league? <laughs> That's true. You've I just want to know. Perspective. Yeah, 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 I got you. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, though, just like him having some some typical things that therapists would ask. Uh, I, th I thought it was funny how Chief Keys was kind of like therapy normally somewhere where I don't really say much. And towards the end, like he was talking more and more. So I thought that was really cool. Um, was there a favorite area or section or, or really what I really want to get into is like, what did you see in that therapy session that you feel like is like, oh, that's a positive or that's kind of something I don't, I don't really like to take that route when I'm in therapy. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would be comfortable with that. How, it, as you watch the therapy session, what things stood out to you? Like, yeah, I resonate. If my therapist asked me that, I would be like, okay, yeah, they on it. Mm, I would say from most of the therapy videos I see, most of even, I'll even put it in life coaching type of aspects as well. To me, therapists tie a lot to your childhood because that's the overall uh, thing I got concept I be getting from most therapy videos is a lot of trauma is either from your environment, but that still is mostly dictated by your childhood. So seeing the shaping of trying to push Chief Keith to get to not necessarily one answer, but an area of an answer and then keep exploring and asking him, am I right about this? Am I on par about this? Not saying like, this is how it is. Is this how it is? And he can say yes or no, and we can explore it that way. So I like seeing that technique or aspects of, are you a therapist that the person comes in and you immediately think, oh, I kind of got you figured out, or I, I, just how you draw somebody to get into that conclusion. But I, I just find it real interesting when they bring it back to different aspects of childhood. And I'm sure it's different categories and stuff of daddy issues. And then daddy issues trickles down into all these different issues. And now we got to talk to your father. I feel like that's the area where it becomes like, I ain't going to say a slippery slope, but sometimes that's when like people really start to get guarded. Right. Cause when you start, uh, I think I've seen this recently Like sometimes you start talking about people And you try to paint them as this better person Than they were Because you don't want this new person that you're talking to To view them in a negative way What you mean by that? Break that down So like Which person is which? I don't uh, if I'm talking to my therapist and they start talking about my childhood Like, like for example They start talking about Chief Keith's grandma Right? Because grandma raised them If there was to be anything said about like How your grandmother raised you Or like for you to like draw a question of like my dad was there but he wasn't there a lot but i don't know if i want you to like see him as a no good dad yeah. you know what i'm saying so you kind of start painting this person uh in a different light because you're talking to a stranger you're talking to somebody who don't know them so mm -hmm. if you ever like want to you know what i'm saying like bring up that person in my life i don't want you to bring them up in a light that looks at them like they're a deadbeat yeah. i want you to look at them in this positive light even though they might have done negative shit in my life so, so that so, so going back to the childhood, it kind of puts you on that. For me, not let me say this, it kind of puts me in that place where I'm like, ah, yeah, we probably need to dig into this. But how do I make uh, this person in my life that may have done some things that hurt me sound like a good person still? To me, from what you're saying, the only thing that would make because I one, I agree that it's difficult to talk about certain family members because you are, again, trying to be comfortable with a stranger and building, still building rapport, and you don't want to 
shed said family member or anybody kind of in your family, you you have that protection. You don't want to shed them in a in a negative light. But I think that goes to your mindset on how you view view it at the end of the day. So is do you view talking about whether it's facts or facts versus feelings one facts about what I'm just saying what happened I'm not saying this person is this this person is that I was raised in this way this moment happened and it really hurt my feelings or shaped me in this way and I felt in that moment abandoned or this type of word but I'm not using words to say oh because that happened my mother my father my aunt is this person is that person so you don't have to necessarily tie those things together and it's tough i'm sure for a therapist to get the other person to trust and understand that yes just because you say those things about that person and those traits may align with this shady description or this big word that you don't want to say that doesn't mean that's what that person is that doesn't mean that's what they will be forever that like you don't have to go down the yeah yeah. i i think as a person that's in therapy the way you said it makes perfect sense but you got to have the like wherewithal to be able to separate that person from the feelings that you felt in that moment which person the person telling it or the person no no you got to be able to as a, a person in therapy when you're talking to your therapist for you to be able to separate the feelings of you need to have a certain level of awareness yes gotcha yeah absolutely you got to have a certain level of awareness and even verbiage to be able to like hey i know my mom did this but that's not who she is as a person. It made me feel this way, but you know what I'm saying? So and typically. Clearly, I'm not a therapist, but I'm assuming that's a part of their approach, too. And maybe, when yeah. I'm talking to you, I'm trying to understand what level of communication and awareness you're at as well. Yeah, absolutely. Are are we able to have this conversation right. like different levels? Not saying, oh, if you can't have this conversation, you don't need to be in fucking therapy. You need to be in. But I'm sure it's no level yeah, no, of no advanced level therapy, sure. bottom therapy. Yeah. So they take it on as either way. We we just are starting wherever you're at and we can talk about what you want to talk about. But again, all therapists ain't even equal. You can't even say that this therapist, even if they were trained that, know that. That don't mean you gonna get. You gotta find a therapist that that work for you. That work for you. Yeah. I, another thing I just like in general is that he asked a bunch of questions. Like again, kind of piggybacking off your point is like making sure I'm on par. If I'm gonna make a statement, I'm gonna ask. Like, yeah, is that? But also, it was a lot of. Even though it seemed like Chief Keith didn't want to talk at first, like it was kind of like, hey, this is for you. I'm gonna ask you questions, mm-hmm. and you you gotta tell me about it. So I like you that. can see towards. The end, Chief Keep open up just a little bit more again in one session. So it's all 20 you really minutes. Have. Yeah. 20 minutes is what they show, but yeah, for sure. It, all you have is that one session. So I, I, I'm sure it's difficult. I like how he tied because somewhat I see a lot of life coaching aspects inside of therapy on the asking the questions, leaving open ended, letting the person kind of get to the decision on their own. But I, I like how he. Just ask Chief Keep to kind of consider different things and, um, I don't know, just to build another rapport. Uh, just towards the end, you could tell he was getting more comfortable with speaking on certain things or saying maybe I've never thought about it that way and yeah. just trying different techniques. So you got to figure out the one that works. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess would you say that you saw something in this that you would want to see in your therapist for sure? I mean, the direct, I like directness, so I would like that challenge of you don't have to necessarily say, oh, this is this is what it is. Hey, I think it may be this, and then asking questions to see if I feel that way too. So I like the, the challenge and, and pushing to see what, is this really, like, is this how you see it as well, or have you considered this? And then... And I don't know if I've had a lot of conversations even in my life about, now that I'm thinking about it, do you think so? Because you would know because me and you have a lot of conversations. I don't know if I have a lot of conversations around, hey, have you thought about it like this? I can think of like one, that, like we have a lot around women, of course, because I don't, you know, I'm not a woman, so it's nice to have a woman's perspective. But again, around myself or things like that of, Hey, Paris, have you thought about it like this? I would. You know what I mean? Uh, I would agree. Well, do you have a lot of those types of conversations? I'm now. I'm just curious. Do you in your friend group? Yeah, I think a lot of friends. Do you have people that say, "Oh, Lindsay, have you thought about it?" Yeah, yeah, I think 
a lot of times when I come to my friends, I'm looking for that different perspective, mm. right? So I'm saying up front, hey, I know my perspective is very narrow. My scope is very narrow in this. I am thinking one track mind. I know I need, there's a different way to look at this. How do I look at it? Like, what, how do you see this, right? So I think uh, I spend a lot of time actually searching that out and seeking that out. And that's the pretty much what I'm looking for from a therapist is to give me a, a uh, another way to look at things so that I can evaluate it kind of from a different perspective. I agree. I think where I struggle in, in me personally, when I do that and seek it out, I feel like not that I may have a rebuttal or answer. The feedback I may get sometimes is a step I've taken mm. and considered. And I got to that point. So we both will just chop it up. It's like, all right, well. You already tried that. And, and it just is like, okay, well. I mean, it was good conversation. So you feel like you kind of explored all the options. Not it's, all of them. Yeah, I definitely but you, don't say yeah. that. I just don't know if I get a unique perspective sometimes because I'm getting one that I've thought about. I got you. So I, which is, I don't know if that, that not saying it has to be a good or bad thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it basically saying like your friends think just like you. Yeah. Mm, I got you. Yeah. Or they think, or I know how my friends think. So when I'm in that situation, I can kind of draw on that inner, in that in, moment yeah, like, before it even like channel your inner oh, friends. Let me think, like, yeah, ooh, let me think how really quick. How, how will Lindsay handle this? Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. So <laughs> then when I come back and talk to y'all, I'm like, you would have thought this, right? Yeah. All right, well, I tried that. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So mm, it'd be nice to have different, but I don't even know if I have areas right now that I. Need, you need necessary feedback different like perspectives so on yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just something I was thinking about. Um, what about you? Did you find anything unique or special that you would take for yourself? I guess. I guess um, I think the therapist in one portion, he kind of brought it back to like something he said in the beginning, and I love a little full circle moment. Like it's something about like when preachers give a sermon and they give a full circle, when your therapist kind of like talk about something in the beginning, and they bring it full circle. Um, I think he said something about Chief Keith kind of like attracting uh, attention from the law. Like you were almost warned. Like You never got the authority figure in your life. <laughs> so now you got to respect man's law and you don't want to do it because yeah. your daddy wasn't there. <laughs> exactly. So I loved uh, uh, a good full circle moment. So Most stories true. It gets your oil changed every six months. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, but when you and you can see when Chief Keep kind of was like, oh, shit, damn. Yeah, you're right. Like, that makes sense. And he kind of let him come to that own conclusion that you yeah, always this is, been chasing a father figure in your cousin, your <laughs> friends. Your, yep. I you just needed a basketball coach at the end of the day. <laughs> um, so I just I like that kind of therapy where I know my therapist is kind of like letting me walk myself along this path and. They're going to help me get to a a point where I can see it for myself what's happening in my life. Like, they're just literally putting a microscope on it and kind of just blowing it up and saying, like, hey, you see what's happening here? Blow that. I can take either. Blow the earth up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama was a <laughs> whatever it is. Your cousin was a. <laughs> whoa, 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 wow. Yeah, so. Wow, I can cut too. Um, segue. I heard something interesting on 85 South Show, definitely at 85% over here. The show. Uh, they just recently released. All of this is on the app. I haven't subscribed to the app yet. I'm getting my funds up. Uh, I'll be there soon. Everybody, please subscribe to the 85 South Show app. They had a show. Now they release only partial episodes on YouTube. They don't do it for free no more. You got to get the app to see the full episodes and see them when they drop early. But I still watch the free ones. So they had Jacob Lattimore on. Okay. And just... Somehow organically, they they started talking about black men and going to therapy and stuff oh, inside dope. of the episode. Yeah. So the episodes never really have structure. They just sitting there yeah, kicking. Yeah, they talk. They shit. literally spent like forty five minutes all talking about. I was like, dang, this is right on point. The hilarious part why I bring all of that up is Carlos made a joke, literally saying the same thing we said. On it seems as if Carlos doesn't really go to therapy now. He's making jokes. Clearly, I don't know Carlos. I don't know if it's true or not. You your job is to make jokes. You making jokes could be lying. Uh, saying, you know, I still got some crazy to get out of me first before I go to therapy. Like, I still got some crazy <laughs> stuff I want to do. Then I can go and clean it all up at the same time. But that that led into, 
Oh, no. Nah, see, my how I feel, I feel like I got to go in there and lie to my therapist first. I need to lie to see how good they are first. Yeah. Let me see if they can fix this lie first, because how they handle this lie is going to how I'm going to see if I really want to tell them some real stuff. But I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we said. That's crazy. I want to come in there and, and kind of gauge you out a little bit. Like, yeah. Did you handle this by the textbook, or did you add a little flavor on it? Mm -mm, that wasn't right. I ain't coming back to you. <laughs> so, speaking of that, I had another session uh, with a new therapist through BetterHelp. Um, black male. Definitely went well. Um, still kind of like, all right, I got a better. It was just better. It was so much better than the first session, and I'm kind of like giving him a pass, I feel like. Like, if I would have got him first, I don't know if I would have felt the same, but oh, it feels pretty good. The black business comparison now. <laughs> Just treat them like a therapist. I don't know if it would have really been good if I would have just been thinking without my, my black vision. I heard a lot of like, yeah, that's what's up. And I was just like. Lindsay, that's trauma. We ain't going to have this conversation on this episode. That's trauma. Maybe that's trauma. All right. So you look we can talk therapist. about that. And uh, I think it's November's topic of corporate thugging. So <laughs> we'll talk about that then about whether to use certain vernacular code switching. and work. Code yeah. switching. So you clearly don't enjoy the code switch in your uh, therapy session, or you don't know yet. I don't really know yet. I think it doesn't it's that make you cringe. No, it's important to build a rapport first. To me, like you need to know, you need to know if I'm comfortable with that before you start with that. So I'm not uncomfortable with Lindsay, it. It's just you I'm, ain't know with it. What I heard you say is you need to code switch first until you know I'm comfortable for you to speak. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, pretty much. I don't agree with that. But but I. I guess that's because of how I do it, but we we'll talk about that in a month of corporate thugging. Um, but ultimately, like it was a, it was a good session. Like he let me talk, he asked good questions, he was engaged, he didn't give too much of his own stuff. He kind of just let me, you know, he would ask questions that led him down the road to kind of tell me more about this. So it it was it was a good session. I definitely am gonna rebook with him. Um, he he gave me to open up like, hey, if you have somebody that you're struggling with. Uh, I, I key in on relationships with whether it be mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, whatever. If you have somebody that you want to like, let join a session, you can do that. I'm so happy to talk. And I was like, all right, cool. That's what's up. So it went really well. I'll, I'll definitely be booking again through him. I'm going to be keeping y'all updated on how my uh, therapy sessions are going through better help because we wanted to kind of do an experiment this month. That's what this is, about for. Therapy. This is yeah, for sure. our diary. So For sure. For sure. Can definitely get updates in there. I had a question that came about from you saying that, but I wanted to make sure I fully listened to you. On brand with the code switching thing, to keep it in a therapy format, do you feel like you need to speak professionally to the therapist when you go in there initially before mm -hmm. you get comfortable to talk how you want to talk? Yeah, because I think one, outside of this being a place where I want to be vulnerable and heal and do work, this is business. I'm paying you. You just, provide me a service and I'm paying you, so we should at least start professionally. That's my opinion. Okay. Okay. What about you? You feel like you should I, be able to come in? I there is a standard to talking professionally. That is known. In my therapy session, although it is a business, it's personal and it is my experience. I need to be comfortable in how I speak. So I'm not going to say I need to come in there with the expectation of speaking, quote unquote, professionally. I need to speak what's comfortable to me. And if my therapist can't understand my vernacular or how I'm explaining it, maybe I need to either find another therapist or I need to say it a different way. But I don't want to come in there just talking, so, quote unquote, professionally and feeling like I need like this is an interview. No, like I don't no, want to no. set I guess that stage. What I'm saying is they should do that. Oh, they was, but my question wasn't about them. You talking about me? I, yeah, that's what I said. Okay, my bad. I misunderstood the question. I feel like I, whatever level I'm comfortable with, then I'm asking about you. Like, not, what is it, my comfort level? Do Pretty you much think, when do I you meet anybody you, in a professional setting, I'm gonna speak professionally okay. off the ripper. Now, does that get more and more relaxed? Yes, I'm. I'm comfortable, but I'm also extremely comfortable speaking in this manner. This is just. Yeah, how I talk fifty percent of the time. The other fifty percent, I'm at home kicking in with my people. I'm, but fifty percent of the time, I'm talking in this manner, so I'm very comfortable either way. So okay. I'll say that. Okay. All right, man. Um, honestly, that's that's really what I kind of wanted to just talk about is the approach that therapist took, um, and the highlights from that. Is there any last words or things you want to share um, no, I was about this ask, video? Do you, do you, would you recommend any piece of this video to somebody you love? 
friend, family? Uh, I think it's a lot of people that could like watch this and be like, dang, I relate to that. But ultimately, I feel like it would trigger you to, I hope it would trigger you to be like, hey, I probably could sit in a couple therapy sessions and talk through some of that stuff I've been through. I think Chief Keith had a similar life to a lot of people uh, in the hood growing up. Like your grandma raised you, your daddy wasn't around, maybe your mom, mama was or was not around. You know what I'm saying? And just kind of some of the things that they go through, struggling with authoritative figures and the man's law, as he calls it. So I think a lot of people can resonate with this um, and his story, and I would hope that it would trigger them to kind of say, like, maybe I need to sit down with somebody and talk about some of the things that I experienced and maybe I'll know some reasons why I do certain things. Agree. I would say the same thing. I think if you cannot get nothing, you can at least watch different episodes to see which one maybe relates with you the most, and you can start doing what you did, which is what I like, maybe seeing – what aspects of this therapy session do I like and will maybe want to be open to bringing into my therapy session to look into if I would like a therapist or just seeing how the vibe or feel is from a, you know, YouTube channel space as well. Because you can also choose to do it like you're doing it now through Zoom. You don't have to go in and be there in person. You can yep. do it through the computer and that might make you even feel more comfortable. You can be in your own room. But uh, I know 85 South Show, again, DC did a joke about that and saying, like, y'all doing it through the computer? You think your therapist can feel your energy through the computer and all this? And <laughs> he going to have somebody else in the room laughing at you and stuff on the <laughs> So, again, great episode with Jacob Lattimore talking about therapy. But I, I, I'm indifferent on that. I think you can feel energy through the computer, too, especially if you lock eyes with somebody. You just, you, you just can still feel that type of energy yeah you definitely can feel energy i hope you feel our energy through this podcast so uh i'm hoping you can feel energy through the internet yep sure. more to come for the month of august year it's is august. flying by flying year by. is flying by july skip past like it was crazy all right any last words man nah just do your own research don't listen to us <laughs> absolutely uh again this is topic of the month is therapy pros and cons we'll be talking to you about therapy all month uh please tune in check us out if you made it this far in the video please like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button um i'm one of your two hosts yogi lg Zimpy. this has been another ztp zen trap perspective if you can't do nothing else protect your peace and protect your energy it's, it's the, the zen trap we out we out